So this is going to be my first time trying the ball cap method with a wigging stool. Following tips and tricks that I found on YouTube, so carry on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today, as I said, I'm going to be doing my first bald cap method. Let's see how this goes. I've got my lovely wig, my go-to wig, I should say, my straight wig. Um, I'm going to be styling it on camera. So it's not very styled, I've just combed it out. I haven't been treating her very nice recently. I've just been watching various videos on YouTube and I hope I've managed to get enough tips. Don't laugh if it goes wrong. I'm going to be using this bald cap that I've got because it's the nearest to my skin tones. The other ones I usually have are quite light, so this is the perfect one. I'm just gonna go ahead and you just watch. Okay, so before I carry on, I just want to show you something. I think when I initially got this wig, I was too scissor happy and I cut off the pieces that go here. Also, as you can see, I have quite long and thick sideburns. I cut them all the time and they come back with a vengeance. That is another reason why this is not going to work in the sense that I can make it look like sideburns from the wig. Other than the fact that part of the wig is missing. 
But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it work, guys. I'm gonna blend my actual hair in with the baby hair, so. There you go guys, there you have it. Now, I think I've done a pretty good job. What do you think? I know you guys are most gonna haunt me in the comments. I don't know, I think I've done okay. I mean, for my first time trying this ball cap, I think I've done okay. But I think obviously I couldn't do my sides properly because, you know, the wig was cut incorrectly. So if anyone out there wants to sponsor me a wig, a straight wig, for free, <laughs> I'd be very happy. <laughs> you don't ask, you don't receive. Right, so let me just quickly show you the final look. Okay, oops. Final look, show you the back. Okay, I think I done okay. I hope I did. I tried the tips. I didn't actually, I didn't try all of the tips I found on YouTube because I didn't put any makeup on it. Only because the stocking was actually near enough my skin tone, so I didn't see the need for that. Obviously, the baby hair was already cut, so it was kind of hard trying to avoid that being glued down as well. But overall, I think I did well. What do you think? As I said, it's my first time trying this ball cap method. Would I do it again? Um... If I was going out for a special occasion, maybe, yeah, just to make sure the wig looked okay. But to be honest, I think I could get this same result if I didn't do the ball cap method and I just wore a stocking underneath and glued the wig with the ghost bond glue. I think I could. But I still like it. As you can see, as I said, I've got these she-wolf sideburns. There's not really going to be much I can do about those, but I kind of managed to blend them a little, a little bit but to be honest when I wear this wig I usually have this style anyway I don't have my hair up so the most you're gonna get from me are these little bits of baby hair but yes guys that is it I hope you enjoyed this video let me know how I've done don't forget to like and subscribe also you can check out my link tree down below in the description box where I have my Amazon shop and I show you all the products that I use in my videos as well as more so I have the hair greases I have the S curl gels and also you can check out my merch store down below again in the description actually you can check it out my link tree where i sell hoodies i sell face masks i sell bags i sell cups phone cases so you can have a look on that guys get some miss lauren the 11 merch and that is it guys so i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye